I would like to take a few minutes and give you a brief overview of a few of the premium steel accessories. The accessories that we're going to go over are garment locker, free on tank holder, document holder, fixed hook, cylinder mount, tote holders, and shelving dividers. We're not going to go over the unpackaging of each item, but all items come individually packaged. Now that I've unpackaged the garment locker and the free on tank holder, we're going to talk about installing them as, as accessories in the tray packages. You'll notice that I've left some packaging at the bottom of the garment locker. That is to keep it from tipping over during the in in installation period. Freon tank also has a notch out on the bottom. Because it's not front heavy, it doesn't have a tipping problem. But that dunnage needs to be there through this process of being installed. We're going to talk about the adjustment of the latch. You'll notice when you close the door, if you get a little bit of a bounce on that door, you can open it up with a 5 16 wrench and the stud. You're going to close it until that little bump that's loose is, is gone. There we go. Once we've done that, we're going to tighten the jam nut. When installing the, fr the Freon tank holder, keep in mind that the back of the Freon tank holder has a solid body on it. This solid body will not fit over the obstruction of the fill filler on the inside of the van. So when placing your product, make sure you place it in first before you plan on where it's going to go. When we're doing the installation on the driver's side of this van, because of the trim level, depending on whether it has barn doors or sliding doors, but you'll find that there's different trim levels in these vans. In this case, this piece of trim, we're gonna remove it because it's in the way of mounting our upper brackets. When installing the Freon tank holder or anything that's very close to the front of the partition, keep in mind before you set it in to install the upper bracket because you'll find it's much easier. Now that we've set our garment locker in place and our Freon tank holder in place, you'll see that on the top we shared a common bracket between the shelving unit and the garment locker and the garment locker and the Freon tank holder. We shared that bracket. Once we've got this installed, we would then remove this bottom carton. What I'm going to do before I mark my bottom anchors for the inserts. I'm just going to take my level and put it on the edge to make sure that we're sitting square. If we're not sitting square, we can pull this out or push it in until we are. The top brackets will dictate exactly where this top has to go and the bottom would need to be adjusted. Now that we've got that set into place and where we want it, we're going to the white marker, marker locations, for installing the nut certs. Next we have the fixed hook. Comes with pre-punched holes. In the plate, it's an aluminum hook. Comes with pre-punched holes in the partition to install it. The cylinder mount has pre-punched holes in it that fastens into the pre-punched holes on the pat on the partition and also on every shelving unit and panel. Comes with the hardware. Now that we have the cylinder mount mounted, it has a quick strap for quick release and quick tie-in. Something to keep in mind if you find the strap is too long for what you're using it for, it can be cut at any length. Make sure you take a lighter and you melt the frayed ends. Next we're going to talk about the installation of the literature holder. The literature holder 
comes with the pre-punch holes in it that fits in the pre-punch holes of the door. As you can see, there are four holes. It comes with its hardware. It's a very simple install. Four bolts, four nuts. The option with the literature storage is that it can install on either side of the door, whether you want it on the cargo side or whether you want to install it on the cap side. Now we're going to talk about the installation of the tote and holders. The tote and holders come in a two pack. The totes are a Stanley brand. They come with many compartments in them. As you can see, it comes with the hardware kit for the installation. First thing we're gonna do is place the holder into a shelf. These holders are designed to sit in a shelving unit. We recommend that you have a half an inch of space between the end panel and the tote holder. With a 5 6 needs nut driver and the hardware supplied, we're going to install it into the shelving unit. After the first one's installed, we're going to duplicate that and do it to the second one. These are stackable units. That it completes the installation of the totes and holders. The installation of the shelving dividers. We have a 10 and a half inch and a 14 inch. They both install the same way, but I'm going to show you how to install a 10 and a half inch one. First, I'm going to pull the PVC plastic from both sides. Then we're going to set it in the shelving deck. This is a 38 inch shelf that has locations for two dividers. Divider goes in, there's three holes in the divider that line up in the shelf. We're gonna install these little push pins. That's the first one, goes in the hole. Then there's a locking pin. These are designed to be removed and reused. Just an overview on some of the accessories we installed. Cylinder mount, fixed hook, pre-punched holes, no drilling required. Also, on the holes that you see down here, four bracket holes clipping in the jack. The jack and hardware kit can be moved from the back of the cargo van to behind the passenger seat to give more room in the cargo area. This completes the brief overview of West Can's premium steel accessories. Remember, before you return the van to the customer, be sure to wipe down all the components you've installed and remove any fingerprints from the installation.